Coming up later this month, the Museum of Wisconsin Art in West Bend will transform its parking lot into a canvas for chalk artists to create their masterpieces. Dating back to the Stone Age when people used chalk to draw on the walls of caves, chalk art is one of the oldest forms of art. This morning, Winnie Dort shares the works and inspiration of a talented sidewalk chalk artist in Milwaukee's Bayview neighborhood. Here in the Bayview community, there is a sidewalk that puts a face to a name. An array of colors bringing that person to life. I really like to like elevate the people I'm drawing. I really wanted a purpose for what I was doing. I really love drawing and I spent a lot of my time making really obnoxious comics of my teachers in high school <laughs> and really like doing that and it just kind of evolved. That voice you hear is Lana Holman, AKA the chalk lady. My first portrait was George Floyd last year. I was really, really upset. It upset me so much and I just couldn't not, you know, say something in some way. It's the foundation for all of her chalk pieces, expressing what she feels. I like being able to create and to like uh, have a message and to have a purpose and I don't know, talk about like current issues. Or who she admires enough to draw. I look up pictures of people and I find one that really like connects to me. Like I need to feel like a vibe with them somehow or feel like some kind of connection, otherwise it comes out terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that I cannot force it, and especially if I don't really like somebody, I cannot draw them <laughs> at all. I always have a list, and last year, I really focused on people of color that were more unique. The stories were just more interesting and less well-known. This year, it's famous Milwaukee people. She lives at a busy and bustling corner, loud cars driving by, people on bikes and airplanes flying over her house. But it's not a distraction. I don't map things out. I actually just pretty much do it and let it go. And you get really dirty too. I it's do, I'm face. so dirty. It's all over my face. <laughs> Weather has to be on her side. If it's too sunny, it gets hot and she can't quite see the pavement. So she usually works in the afternoon and finishes up by the time it gets dark. So I look at weather.com <laughs> and I'm like, what's the 10 day forecast? And I'm like, oh, 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 I've got like three good days. Usually I try to do three to four chalk portraits um, every week. Sometimes I can do one or two a night very easily and fast. Holman is an expressionist. I've always had kind of a weird um, eccentric style of, of art. Her technique is key. I like look at their picture and I like take out all the different shades of their face that I see the highlights and all the colors and and I kind of work and blend and you know experiment and see if it looks okay. The sidewalks in Milwaukee, a lot of them have a lot of gravel and like tiny little pebbles. So you have to incorporate like that imperfections. You just have to work around it. While she's sitting on her little stool, giving color to the ground, there is no question the amount of people she meets. It's really awesome. A lot of people will suggest things to me and they always stop and talk to me. Uh, it got so bad to a point where I actually had to put my name up because they wanted to like know my you know, website and stuff. As she draws her person of interest in that moment, bystanders will also learn their story. He was a great player, um, but he's also really cool just what he's done like business wise too. It's more interesting to me to learn like the life stories of the people I'm drawing and be able to tell their story to like people and have it resonate with people and learn. Being an artist means in any season, you always can create something unique. I can go through the fall until the snow falls. Inside, I do watercolor and acrylic. Holman is also a resident artist at a loft Milwaukee downtown. I started doing a whole series of like really cool iconic spots in Milwaukee and those are all up at a loft right now. There's like 25 paintings up, including all my Bucks paintings too there. One thing about art, it lives on for centuries and can be expressed in any form, giving its author comfort. Could you see yourself doing anything else, having any other career? I have had other careers. I guess this makes me the most happy. 
It's pretty darn close. <laughs>